Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today my video will be a bit different because today I'm gonna be doing a haul video and not any kind of haul video, I have a bag here and it's gonna be, I don't even know if I can lift this because it's quite heavy, it's gonna be a Whole Foods haul and it's the first time I'm doing a haul video mainly uh, because I almost never ever buy things in bulk unless I'm in a health food store because I just get really excited by all these delicious healthy snacks and beauty products and that's the only time I end up with a lot of things. So um, you might be thinking, well you live in London, there's Whole Foods there, how come you're doing it now? So there's some things in Toronto Whole Foods or sometimes in the US Whole Foods that are different and are not carried in our London Whole Foods. So that for that reason I get very excited and certain products I buy and actually take with me to London so when we travel there. Before I start I just want to mention that I am not sponsored by Whole Foods or any of the products that I'm about to mention. I actually love all of these products although Whole Foods is one brand I wouldn't mind working with just FYI in case they're watching my video. Uh, Alright so let's begin because there's lots of stuff to go through. Okay so I'm gonna put it here in the middle you guys won't see the bag but I'll slowly pull out things one by one and explain why every product is so special. So this came out first, and of course I'm not taking this with London with me, but this is the only uh, body wash Alex and I use. I think I've featured this in my favorites before. Alex, have I? Yeah, so Dr. Bronner um, body wash, and this is not only body wash, body wash actually, this is like all in one. It says 18 in one. So basically there's 18 different uses you can use this but Alex and I just use it as a body wash. And this is the cleanest body wash I was able to find on the market. So if you're looking for clean, natural products, give this one a shot. Yeah, so anyways, I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but this is a rose flavor. It smells absolutely delicious. I already opened this before. So yeah, absolutely love the scent of it. We're just gonna leave it here. So every time we travel, we have the body wash here. What else can I say about it? Yeah, you can use it in a million different ways. Just look on the website and this is cruelty free, natural, and all the wonderful stuff. Okay, so I cannot dwell on products because this is gonna take forever. I am seeing seaweed. Am I supposed to open this and snack on them? I don't know. They're a bit messy, so I don't wanna ruin my lipstick, but what this is is organic roasted seaweed snack. Again, in, in London, we don't have organic seaweed. We have seaweed and I still eat it, but I really appreciate that this brand is organic. Um, this is by Gimme. Yeah, so I absolutely love it. This is the sesame flavor. It's really delicious. It's just really good to have on the go when you're hungry and you want something really scrumptious and crunchy. Can't wait to uh, have this later. All right, so next thing that I'm pulling out is this almond milk and this is by the brand Pacific Foods. Again, this is the best one I was able to find in the Whole Foods here in Toronto. But honestly, I love the one we buy in London by Root Health much better because it just it actually shows you the percentage of almonds it has this one doesn't have a lot of um, almonds i think but still this is the cleanest formula and again when i buy anything i always look through the ingredient list just because something says it's organic and natural doesn't mean it's organic and natural because there was several there were several brands of almond milk and some of them literally had about 25 ingredients like when i make almond milk there's two ingredients actually maybe three because i add dates and sometimes I add vanilla, but four, maximum five, you know? It shouldn't have 20 ingredients. If it has 20 ingredients, you should be worried. Uh, so this one, yeah, it doesn't have many ingredients. It's the cleanest one I was able to find. And I really like almond milk because I use this when I drink my protein shakes. So I just mix it with the protein. I'll show you some beauty products that I think they put in a separate bag. And this is probably where most of the money went because the beauty products are the most expensive. So this eye cream, again, they sell this in London. I prefer to buy it here because it's way cheaper because Canadian dollar is cheaper, um, but it's still quite expensive product. I think it's about $100. But you know, with eye creams, they're usually very, very expensive. And this lasts me forever. Just wanna show you what it looks like because I almost ran out of the one I have. So basically, you just squeeze a teeny tiny bit I don't want to waste the product. Anyways, you squeeze it out. This is like liquid gold, so I won't waste any of it. But anyway, so you squeeze out a tiny, teeny drop and you put it all over, like around the eye area, under the eyes. And this is really great, especially if you add it at night when you take off your makeup and when your face is clean and fresh. And then the next morning you wake up and your eyes are bright, 
the skin is smooth. I just really, really love this product. That's why I choose to invest in it. And of course, Dr. Hauschka is natural, it's cruelty free, and it's got a really great formula. All right, next beauty product that I got is this uh, lip balm. <laughs> and the reason I got this, I featured EOS lip balm in my favorites, and a lot of you guys send me like articles and horror stories of EOS, so I don't know if I should keep using it. So I, I decided to buy something that's more natural and doesn't test on animals. So this one is from actually the same Dr. Bronner. I didn't even know they have lip balms, but this one is really great. I was looking at ingredients. And the first one is avocado oil, then it's bee wax, jojoba oil, or jojoba oil, <laughs> I don't know. Then there's something with hemp seed oil, orange peel, ginger, root oil and then tocopherol. I don't know what that means. I have to look that one up. But yeah, it's only about seven, eight ingredients. Really cute and smells really, really nice. The last beauty product I can I see here is this nail polish. And the reason I bought a nail polish is because I only brought one color and it's red and I've been wearing red nail polish color for the last few weeks and I'm so bored with it now. So I'm really excited to do my nails later today. And it's a really beautiful sort of pale pink color. I really love it. It's a nice, cool, pale pink. I'll show you some snacks before I move on to the other stuff. So, okay, I have a few from this brand. I'll just pull all of them out. And please don't think I'm crazy, okay? Like, oh, what's going on, Mimi? But really, the reason I love this brand, there's several reasons. This is a Canadian brand. It's, uh, by, it's called Solar Gold. They have really great quality dried fruit. I believe this is, is this organic? I don't know if this is organic actually. But, that doesn't, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't realize it wasn't organic. Hmm. It's really good though. It's really good. Nevertheless, I really like that. Um, anyways, I'm not gonna go into too many details, but there's lots of things that they do with the profits that they get from the business that they're carbon cool, so they offset their, carbon use that they use to, to make their product. Um, what else do I like? That they don't add anything. So basically this one just has banana and lime juice. This is my favorite. I cannot find anything even similar to this in UK. And that's why I bought three packages and this is coming to London with us. And then I bought dried mango, which again is delicious. And I bought tropical fruit mix. And then I bought pineapple. This is really good too. The next product I'm gonna share with you is something that I actually don't talk a lot about or haven't had a chance to talk to you guys a lot about. So if you guys like, if you guys would like me to talk more about underwear and things that I use under my clothes, I can do a separate topic about it. But generally speaking, I do my best to always wear cotton underwear. I just don't feel right when I have synthetics down there. And when I can, I do my best to purchase organic cotton. Sadly, there aren't many brands that use organic cotton to uh, create their underwear, and Pact is one of the only brands that does that. I absolutely love Pact. I've been using their underwear for years, and my size is always sold out. So this is the only one I was able to find. You can see it, it's like a full, um, full coverage, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't talk about underwear often, so yeah, this is an extra small, you get two inside, and yeah, made out of organic cotton. I think this is made in Turkey, but it's a US brand. So if you're looking for organic cotton underwear, Pact is a great brand. Okay, just a couple more things I'm gonna pull out of here. Oh, the love of my life, <laughs> after Alex, of course. <laughs> um, coconut flakes, these are absolutely delicious. I feel like I had a bit too much of them, so I'm not like as obsessed anymore. So that's why I only bought one. Did I buy one? I feel like, but I think we still have some. So I just bought one because yeah, it's good to eat things in moderation. So yeah, this is delicious. Again, nothing added. I believe this is only one ingredient, isn't it? Where is it? I cannot find it right now. Because it's like when you're on camera, it's like very exciting and sometimes you don't see. Okay, yeah, coconut, coconut nectar. So coconut nectar is sort of like coconut sugar. That's what I guess makes it sweet. And then there's salt, so that is all. Two more things. <laughs> I unintentionally pulled this at the same time, but they actually go really well together. This, I think, maybe is a US brand. I'm not really sure. Organic crackers by, what is it called? Mary's. So Mary's is a good brand because um, I choose not to eat any gluten, and this is these are great gluten-free. I think mainly they're made out of rice. 
then there's quinoa, there's flaxseed. It's really great sometimes to have with breakfast. Sometimes I just put like, it's like little rounds. I'll show you. They're quite small and um, might as well open it up. Mm. So good, you want some? Okay, so this goes really great on its own with a little hummus or avocado guac. or guac. Yeah, I already said that. Or apple butter. Apple butter is something, again, we still can't find in UK. I'm obviously not gonna take this with me to London, but I'm, we're gonna enjoy it while we're here. And this again doesn't have any sugar added. Pure apple juice, pure apple sauce, um, baking soda, cinnamon, no added sugar. That is all. It is quite sweet, so I'm assuming it's because they use apple juice in it. And apple juice naturally has fructose, but still, it's a really nice, clean treat. Love this. And last but not least, I have kombucha here, and again, I mentioned this, I think, in my favorites a couple of months ago. This is for me, mango flavor is my favorite, it's super delicious, no sugar added. Kombucha, if you don't know, is really great, it's like a probiotic, so it's really great for your gut. Um, you're not supposed to drink too much of it, so it's great to, let's say, share a bottle with someone. But I absolutely love it, I don't drink it every day, but once in a while it's a nice treat, and it's a really great way to get some um, good bacteria. And this is for Layla, because I'm going to go see her tonight. And this one actually has chia seeds added. I don't know if you can see it. It looks kind of funky because uh, they, I don't know, chia seeds to me look like little aliens. But it's absolutely delicious. All right, so that is all I have. I mean, that was a lot of products. I showed you mainly like non-perishable items, not like lettuce and tomatoes and avocado and things like that because it's just I think it's more interesting than produce. But if you'd like me to do more what's in my grocery bag kind of videos, I would absolutely love to film them. I think it's fun to talk about things that we eat and use and consume. So let me know how you enjoyed this video by giving this video a big thumbs up. That will show to me that you've enjoyed it and you'd like for me to make more. Also leave me a comment if there's any of these products that you love or you've used. I'd love to hear from you as well. And that is all I have for you today. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Alex, for filming me. And see you soon.